Good day. Um, today we're going to look at the Citasa wireframes app wizard. The app wizard provides functionality to create various types of applications depending on the templates. Like for example, the blank template will make you start on a blank application template. This one will have tabs. This one will have a side menu. And this one will have a side menu and tabs. We are going to go through each of these ones so that we see in terms of how it's going to work. So you go to the app wizard and select blank. So what this will do is to create an app template for you that you can start with. For example, if you want to start from scratch in relation to creating an uh, application. So what this has done basically, it has created the main content that is basically the hosting uh, page for the hosting content, sorry, for your application. And then it creates the main page, the main page that will host your tabs. Now, the approach that we use here is to use the tabs uh, approach so that our pages sit inside tabs. And then the content, then the main tabs, and then there is the home uh, tab you know, that is sitting inside the main tabs. And then we specify that this is a title. The URL path is home. Uh, it has a header. Uh, it has content, and then the content is welcome to set us or INX survey. So what you basically see here is based on the properties that we have set here. Now the home page has a an nav, you know, for navigation, and then it has a div inside it where all the content will sit in in relation to the tab itself. And then they have a header, a toolbar, start buttons, which will be sitting on the left side of the uh, header. And button to be sit on the right side of the header, and then the home content, which is basically what is hosting uh, the content here that is indicated by that. So that is how you start um, a blank uh, project, you know, and then you can add whatever component you need to add. Okay, let's go then to the tabs project. We're going to delete everything here. And then the tabs project, we click on it. And then what it's going to do is to create the street structure of the project and also create the outline of the project. So as you can see here, we have tabs at the bottom and we have a, a title and then we have content, you know. So what we can also do on the main page, we can also indicate that the tab should be at the top, you know, and save this. And then our tabs, tabs appear on the top there. And because we have said that each page must have a header in relation to this particular template, that's why you say welcome here. So for example, our tabs, yeah, inside the tabs we have a tab bar, and inside the tab bar, we have a tab button. And this tab button has an icon, which is what you see here. And it also has a label. So each of the buttons that are on the tabs have an icon and label. And then this is the page, actually. Each of the pages which have home. So for example, if we deactivate this, we're going to see the next page, which is services. Services, we indicated that it should have a back button, you know, but the home, what it shows, it shows a menu. Oh, it doesn't show a menu. Okay, we don't have a menu here. <laughs> Forgot. So, um, and also contact us. Contact us if we, acti if we activate the other page, to activate the other pages. Let's deactivate uh, home. Let's deactivate services. Excuse me. Let's 
excuse me, you contact us as a back button. It basically means that if we go back, it goes to the home welcome, you know. So let's activate this page and then uh, activate services also and then we're back to here. So the tabs template, it's a application that will have a tabs. Of course, you can name the icons for each tab on the home tab. And then, uh, for example, we set home outline here. And then uh, for services, we say court outline. And then for contact us, we say chat box. So the icons that we're seeing here are defined on the tab. So one of the other things that uh, we can see here is that as much as uh, the uh, child elements that are created here, the controlling element is actually the home, the services, and the contact us, and then the main page, and then the content. What we can do to see this is to delete automatic children. Automatic children are all the child elements that are created here. So let's delete automatic children. And then let's start from scratch here. We're going to save the main content. And then we're going to save the main page. And then the same thing is going to be created, but then with a lesser structure. So what has happened here? The main controlling components in relation to this application here is the main content and the main page and then uh, the home services contact us and then the main tab bar we have created the other um, uh, main page content and main page tabs here because uh, we want to show the structure of how everything sits here okay? that the home services and contactors and main page bar actually sit inside main page tabs so let's move the tabs to the bottom, you know, uh, tab bar position is moving to the bottom, uh, and then save this, and then we're back to where we're at. We're back where we're at in relation to how the structure of this application is. Okay, now let's go to the next template. The side menu. Uh, if we select the side menu template, it's going to create a structure of your application, but there are no tabs here anymore. But then uh, it's going to create a side navigation, a side menu with the various pages <coughs> we have created. <coughs> Excuse me. We have created three pages in our application, you know, and uh, that is what you see here is home, its services, is contact us. And now there are no tabs, but then there is a site navigation. So what has happened here, the main content was created, then the main page. Then after the main page was created, the main menu was created. But as you can see here, the main menu has a header and a toolbar and a title. You know? Head or toolbar in the title, and it also has content. And inside the content, we have a list which sits these list items here. Yeah. So each list item is inside a toggle because when we click the menu, we want to close the menu as you can see here. This is directly going through to the link that you see here. Like contact us, there's a link there at the bottom, so that's why it's showing the server here link because it's from this will work outside of the application. So, our side menu template is like that it's a template where we have uh, each tab, you know, uh, inside tabs because all of these pages. As I've indicated, this is inside the tabs, but when you navigate to them, they will navigate properly. So you can uh, create 
other pages following the same approach because the way that the page shows on the drawer is because you said show in the drawer list and then we specified that it should show on the main menu list the main menu list which is basically uh, the main menu list inside um, the menu there's the menu which is what we access when we create here click here it's called main menu and then the main menu list here is the list that is hosting these items and each item is an toggle uh, and each item is an icon and the label 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 like this so this you are able to see the st structure of the tree here in relation to the nodes that will sit in your application so for example if we had to deactivate uh, this one here Built it our services as a back button because if you go through to the services page, we have said when we are creating the template, um, it has a left button, but it has a back button. You see, here it's saying it has many button, which is nothing, but as a back button, so that the back button is shown for our services. And our back button goes to the root. So let's activate this again. Um, and then um, that is how the side menu template works. Side menu does not have a tab bar. It just has a menu. And you have your pages inside the tabs as indicated here. And of course, to use the custom view approach, you go there and click custom views. And then it will generate the documentation for you that you need to uh, recreate the application. You know, and this has excluded the automatic child components. It, but focus is just on the main components that you need to use. You know? I will take you through this step later on. And then uh, that concludes our side menu. Uh, approach now the last one that we have is let's delete this the last one that we have is side menu and tabs so the side menu and tabs is a combination of tabs and the side menu in the same template so we're going to select that side menu and tabs and then it's going to create our structure for us and then the template of the application so this is the side menu we have here these are the tabs so um, as earlier indicated, this is the strict structure of our application. Let's document this so that we can recreate it later via the custom view approach. So this is our document here. There we go. Um, so also, again, we have three pages that we have created here. The home page, the services, and then the contact us. So what we have said, for example, on the home page, we have said the title should be welcome. This is the icon that you see in the top bar and also on the menu. When the navigation, we use the router approacher. And then we go to the starting page. The tab is home. And then uh, we said the home uh, tab has a menu button. It does not have a back button. And then we say it should show on the drawer list. And then it should show on the tab bar. And we gave the name of the tab bar. So main menu list and the main page tab bar. And the main page tab bar is inside the tabs. Yeah? So the main page tabs, which is the router, main router for the application, the root controller for the application, and then the tab bar. The tab bar has a, is a tab button, an icon and a label. Okay. So this is a tab button. It has an icon and a label. And then uh, we said that it should also show on the menu. 
so the menu is sitting here main menu and the main menu has content which is doesn't have and padding yeah? and then um, there's a list there that hosts all of these and then these are added so you can create as many pages as you want and uh, some of them you can indicate that they need to show on the menu and not show on the tab by navigation so that you have access to them so these are the app wizards templates that are available now to make it easy for you to create your application so as you can see we automating the processes so that you have a starting base in relation to how to create the application uh, based on the blank template the tabs template which doesn't have a menu the side menu template which doesn't have a tab bar and the side menu and tabs a template which actually provides you with this final uh, application template here you know and then uh, what we do is we can always start from scratch by deleting everything and then uh, creating an application so the other thing we have added here is these indicators the 13th year means that this is the number of components and out of the 13th there is 11 components which are actually automatically created by the application itself you know, because what we have done we have uh, not created any of these components this structure that you see here we didn't create it it was created automatically by the system but there are main components that are controllers which basically means that for example for setting your application you need to have main content you need to have the main page and for example if you need to have a page in your application then you need to have a tab inside tabs you know like this so that's the approach that we are using uh, because we also want the navigation the routine to work properly in relation to this and so that the components are linked so as, as indicated here you can add any component within for example if you want to add uh, a component here let's perhaps add a list yeah. uh, and then there's a list let's add a list here see this is and there's a list you know so as you can see here and then there's a list is there now what we can do here is to also add an item you know uh, an item with an input let's say we call it uh, first name this is a string this is a text box let's add this here so what we basically done here now is to include an item uh, with a text box with a floating label where for example we can have our inputs so um, you are able to add any component that you select depending on what you want to do for example if we said we wanted to add an image um, or anything like for example the navigator uh, let's say assets one dot jpg i'm just testing there we go so we've added this avatar inside the content uh, after the list you know so you can add any component that you want in any component that you want to by just following the strict structure because you see here the parent component of this avatar is the home content so which means that you build up your application depending on what you need to do so um, this covered the application wizard I'm just going to delete this because I was just making an example about it and then as you saw here we added a uh, first name uh, what I'm using here is the property component which creates an item with a input with an input it's a combination of that 
That is how it is here. Like for example, if we want to see that, you go to it, let's right click on it. Let's just check. Uh, there it is. Okay. It's an item. Then there's an input. You see? So we have added that then for us to be able to 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 uh, have our input added. And for example, we can say home content. We don't want the welcome to Satasu thing showing here. And go there. And then what we do is to clear this here because it's being controlled by the tab. So there we go. Yeah. We'll talk about the property items uh, in our next video so that I explain how to develop design inputs. All right, that's all for now in relation to the application is that you can play around it and see how you fare in relation to using it and explore in terms of how to create applications with it. Thank you.